everyone, Lady Rose here with you um, today. To, I'm going to talk about uh, something that's really simple and easy to do for your junk journals or any journal that you have, um, especially if you have little tuck spots or if you have even just a simple paper clip kind of thing, you can um, do these little mini envelopes. Now, some of you have already purchased junk journals from me. Some of you are making your own junk journals. And this is a really cool thing to add in. And I always include some in my junk journals that I sell on my Etsy shop. So once you get your journal, if you've ordered a journal from me, um, they'll, you'll find a lot of these, but I wanted to show you how to make more in case you wanted to add more to your junk journals. So today, um, like I said, I wanted to show you how to do this, but this is a really easy, easy little thing. It opens up like this. You can make it as long or short as you want. Like you could cut this in half and just have it as a one fold envelope. And then you can either write four small little things that you want to journal about. You can write it across this way, one big long one. You could write it this way, like a big journal entry or a letter type thing. Or you could have like four little sayings that you like and you open it up and remind yourself of some of these sayings or whatever you want to put in here. It's your... Um, little mini envelope to do this with. The other thing that's really great, not only is it easy to make, but it's actually really good at using up scraps. So if you've made a junk journal or anything like that, you know you end up with a lot of leftover papers. Um, so this one today is not leftover. I actually purposely cut up a, a journal uh, pad so that's the journal pad it came from I just took one of the sheets out of there and I cut it into four different pieces so I folded it in in half and then I folded it in half again so I'll get out another piece here just to show you what I mean in case you're sort of like what does she mean by that so when you tear it out you often don't tear it out evenly as you can see and that's okay you can leave it the way it is right there if you want all uh, sort of uneven that can add to the charm of the envelope or you can also just tear that part off so I'm gonna fold it up in half these are wine corks who doesn't love wine and wine corks so then I will try and even this out a little bit so I just take my ruler and you just tear it nice and straight there you go, that part's done. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to fold it in half again, and then you end up with even um, kind of pieces. Now I'm gonna take my bone, um, where is it? Oh, here it is, my bone folder. These bone folders are super, super handy to have around because they really make the edges crisp. They're also really good for getting um, glue smeared properly. So I've got it folded in half and in half again. So now I've got my four strips, right? So what I'm going to do, easy peasy, I put my ruler down here and I just tear. And I do tend to like to tear, partly because it kind of gives it a rougher, kind of more aged look, but also too, if I were to cut that, even if there's a line there for me to follow, I tend to cut it crookedly. <laughs> so it's a lot easier if I just tear with my ruler. It's a lot easier too if you do it with a metal ruler because it tends to have a bit of a, a sharp edge to it. So there we go, we got our three. And it doesn't have to, or our four I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. So there's the four strips right there from one piece of the scrapbook um, pad. So you can take one of these and you can make this into this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually wanna fold this in half a little bit, just at the top, okay? So just at the top, I think one of the places, I'm starting to remember, one of the places that I got this idea from, I think, was Treasure Books. She has a lot of stuff up there and she does a lot of very creative stuff. I like to follow people that are sort of unique in some of the stuff they do, but I have seen other people do it too. So as you can see, I folded it in half, so that's sort of like my halfway point, so I know then to fold this corner down to the center, and then again to the center. And it makes for 
a nice straight edge, right? And then you could go from here and just fold this down like this if you wanted to and make an envelope, like you just start folding it up from there, like that. And there you have an envelope, right? But I also like, I like a little bit of a bit of a crease, or not crease, but a little bit of length. So this one, I'll do it again. So you fold it in half, or you get to about the halfway point, just on one end, you're not folding it all the way down. And then you're folding one corner down here, and one corner down here. It's not quite even, but this was the rougher side. And I'm not gonna nitpick the, that little millimeter extra. But then what I like to do is I like to bring it down a little bit so it creates a bit of an, more of an edge as opposed to right at the triangle. So that's, you can do it that way if you like, but I like this way a little bit better for myself. And then you just start to fold up like an accordion almost. And there's your little envelope. Now this isn't quite even, so we'll even that out a little bit better. There we go. So that's better. And then if you wanna make it sharper, you just take your bone knife and you make it nice and sharp. Now you're not done yet. I was just showing you two examples. So you gotta glue this so it doesn't come up because this is glued down. So I find glue stick is best for this kind of thing. It gets too wet if you're using like a tacky glue or something like that. So when you're journaling, when you are making junk journals, you'll find there's all kinds of different glues to invest in and to use. So I just do this, I kinda, I do the triangle, but then I bring it a little bit over the edge. I do a little bit of the center point. And this just helps to keep, once you fold it in, to keep your edges down. So then I take my little bone. This usually comes in a pack with this thing. As you can see, mine are well used. <laughs> so then I just use this little one to kind of it smushes the glue down and gets it really bonding. And there's a little mini envelope, nice and quick. This one won't have a, that edge like this one does. So I'll glue this one down. And like I said, I like to bring it just past where the line is that you first creased it, just by a little bit. Oh, we got a gob of glue there, that's okay. Smush it in. And then a little bit up the center because all these corners are all going to that center spot, right? So what that does is it just helps to seal in those edges. Because you'll find when you use a glue stick, you very often, be, unlike like tacky or liquid glue, there's not globs of it so it's not spreading. It's usually right where you've put it, right? And we often as humans will not go right up to the edge. We'll miss that edge a little bit. So that's why I bring it down the center edge a little bit. So then it does hit the middle and it's fully sealed. And as you can see, I didn't quite get to the edge here. So I can lift that up a little bit, put a little bit of glue under there if I want that edge to go down. And I do. <laughs> and this one, like the edges are quite tight same thing with this one, the edges are quite tight. But that's the only gluing you have to do. And it's a simple little glue stick, right? And then you fold it up and there you are. And then if you want, you can distress it. This paper probably won't show it, but if you had some floral paper that you were gonna distress, you can distress it like that. You do all the four edges. Sometimes I do, cause sometimes you can still see the white of the paper. So I'll do it even if it's like, sort of distressed it looking paper anyways, just to create that, or just to make that edge go away. So it's you're not seeing any white kind of thing. So you would normally do all four edges, and then you would also do the edges of the envelope, like this, or the, the fold of the envelope. Now you can also, sometimes by the time you're done folding, sometimes this part is like, way longer than the rest of the envelope. So you can take little scissors 
and you can just cut a little bit. If you want a more rounder edge like that, then you can do that as well. And it won't affect, it's already glued down, so it won't affect that. It won't come up or anything like that on you. So then you just distress it if you want to. Now this, this edge isn't quite even, so that's okay. No worries. It's like Bob Ross. There's no mistakes. So then what I would do is I just cut it like that perfectly straight and nice and even. So that's what's great about it too for using strips or like for using leftover paper is it doesn't matter if the paper's a little crooked. Once you get it to where you want it in this form, you can just cut away any of the extra edges that you don't want and any of the um, roughness that maybe you don't want if you want like if don't wait don't try and get it even when it's in this phase it's just impossible it's so much easier when it's all folded up and then you just I'm going to cut it now and it'll all be nice and even um, for me although this isn't quite even I don't think maybe it is who knows but anyways it's a nice little writing hidden writing um, thing that you can add into your junk journal so let me show you where I would put something like this. I like to fill my junk journals up with lots of treasures. So this is one of my junk journals that I'm working on right now. So here it is. I'm not finished it yet, <laughs> but I'll find um, a tuck-in spot here for this one. Um, let me just see here. So we could tuck it in like someplace like this. So what you would do is just tuck it in like this and that flap would go over and that tucks in, you can tuck it in tight or you can tuck it in on a corner. You could tuck it in even on one of the cards and have one of the other cards holding it down like that, that sort of thing. Um, and don't worry, like if you tucked it in here and it, you feel like it's still flapping, by the time the book is closed and someone opens it up again, it'll be nice and flat by that point. So don't try to, you know, find something to seal this down because you're gonna be going in and out of it so much that it'll become a pain to, ha to have it sealed down like that. Now there's also um, another tuck spot that I saw that was like, oh, that's kind of a cool spot. Oh yeah, it was just past here, I think. Yeah, so there's a little another tuck spot here. So you could tuck it in up here if you wanted to. You could even tuck it in on the side that sort of thing. So you can tuck these things almost anywhere. You could put one here, one here, and one here, and it wouldn't bulk up this tuck spot. So you could have three extra little envelopes in here. You could even, like even if you want to tuck it, this one's pretty tight, but I'll see if I can do it. Yeah, so you could even tuck it in like that. The flap doesn't have to be over the edge or anything like that. So you could tuck it in there and just have it in there if you want. I'm gonna tuck it in here. So now this will be part of this journal. So as you can see, I've started stuffing this journal, um, but I'm not quite finished it. I just have to add a, a couple more things and then it will be done and then I'll be doing a full flip through of that journal. So that's just one of the little things you can add to a journal if you've already got one. Super easy to make. Great way to use up scraps if you've got scraps from a journal you've already made and you know, Anybody who's made a journal knows you've now got a bucket full of scraps and it's such a shame to throw them away. So this is a great way to use it because you can use it even up to like this kind of height kind of thing if you wanted to. You know, like if you've got a scrap like that, it's just a matter of folding down the edges and just doing one, two flip kind of thing. And it'll still flip quite nicely. So even this size is good for one of these little envelopes. It just won't be quite as long, but that's okay. I, I do it all the time where it's just a couple of flips and then your junk or your envelope is done kind of thing. So there you go. There's a new idea for you to put into your junk journal. Thank you for joining me. I hope you could see everything. Um, I think I got the camera all in, in frame here. All right, take care, have fun journaling. Bye.